Hi, welcome to the Eclectic Philatelist. This is episode number 12. My name is Joseph. In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, unusual things or uh, more interesting uh, stamps or postal items in the world of topical collecting. Uh, first, if you notice behind me, right up there, there is a print of a painting uh, back from 1928 by an artist called Francois Barad, and it's entitled The Philatelist. Well, we're going to take a look at a special and highly unusual stamp related to that painting. We're also going to take a look at a couple of stamps that got a lot of interest on the uh, Facebook pages for the Eclectic Philatelist lately, and those are stamps depicting Braille and Braille could be a fascinating topical collection if anyone wants to get into that area. There's quite a few stamps available for that from around the world. And lastly, I just want to make a shout out to um, someone who sent in a postcard and who uh, had some nice comments about the uh, channel recently. The artist Francois Barad was born in Switzerland and he and his four brothers were all extremely interested in art, and especially in painting and sculpture. Well, eventually, um, Francois Barad moved to France and there was employed as a house painter. And that's how he made his living for many, many years. But at the same time, he was still always interested in uh, doing paintings and, and sculptures and trying to become a, an artist and, and not just a uh, house painter. He married a woman named Marie, and Marie often figured in his paintings quite uh, often. Uh, he also did many self-portraits of himself along with Marie, and one of those was titled The Philatelist. Um, it's not really known, or I couldn't find anything, whether he himself was a stamp collector. I imagine he probably was, and that was the inspiration for uh, this painting. Now, again, behind me, I've got a framed print of the painting, The Philatelist, uh, that I found a, a few years back. But recently on the uh, Facebook group for the Eclectic Philatelist, a viewer had mentioned that there was a stamp uh, with a highly unusual design, and it was from Spain in 2020. And I did some more research and ended up finding one and this is what it is. It's uh, large, as you can tell. It's very unusual. It, uh, the cutout also is kind of unusual because it comes down here and goes around a hand holding a magnifying glass. So in the painting, you're seeing Francois Barard and his wife Marie looking over a stamp album, and Francois is holding a magnifying glass and then this hand is holding another magnifying glass. And what's great about this particular stamp is the little circle right here is actually a plastic lens, a plastic magnifying lens. And you can use that to examine uh, stamps holding it up behind here. And it's kind of an interesting uh, little, little card here, little uh, uh, stamp from Spain in 2020, a very special issue. I'll put a larger photograph up on the screen of the stamp itself, and then another photo of uh, myself holding a little stamp uh, behind the magnifying lens, lens here. So this is, uh, I think, one of the most unusual stamps, or the most unusual stamp that I have in my collection. And this morning I was doing a little research on this stamp, and I also found that uh, there was a first day cover out there using this stamp. And I'll throw the photo up on the screen here. I haven't been able to find one for sale yet. Uh, I'm going to continue my research and try and add that to my collection. But this uh, depiction of the painting, The Philatelist, by Francois Barad, um, highly unusual great collectible. I think uh, the stamp itself, one of my research sites said something like there was 160,000 of these uh, issued in Spain in 2020. Recently at a stamp show, I was just kind of browsing through the 
uh, available items, looking for something to possibly start a new topical collection. And I came across this uh, card and stamp depicting Braille. And I was kind of fascinated by that, so I picked that one up. And it's uh, uh, from Hungary in 2009. And it depicts the 200th anniversary of the birth of Louis Braille. And the full card shows the Braille alphabet, and then the stamp itself has the raised uh, Braille uh, bumps, if you will, uh, on the stamp. And I thought, wow, this would be an interesting uh, topic to collect, these Braille stamps. I also found a, another stamp from the Netherlands. It's a 1975 issue, and it's uh, depicting 150 years since Louis Braille introduced the Braille writing system. And I like this one also. It's uh, kind of a animated design, but it's fascinating. I thought that would be a, a good intro to a topical collection for Braille stamps as well. And then at the same time, I came across this one from the uh, Trans Sky, uh, one of the territories of in the South Africa region. You can look up the history of that. It's kind of elaborate. I won't get into it in this video. But in 1977, they issued a commemorative stamp for Help to the Blind, also depicting Braille. Now, if someone was interested in creating a new topical collection on Braille, or on uh, any other subject for that matter, I would highly recommend uh, going to the American Topical Association's website. And if you're not a member, uh, why not? You should probably join if you're a topical collector. They have a great website. They also have a great um, magazine, the Topical Times magazine. And if you go to the website and you're looking for to start a new topical collection for, and if you're a member, uh, you can go under research and you can go under their checklists and you can find checklists for all kinds of different topics. There's just tons of them out there. And for example, I just typed in the search bar for Braille and it came up for a listing under the general uh, area of inventors. And then Louis Braille was listed and I could purchase a checklist of all of these stamps for Louis Braille and see what they are like and I start to use that when I go to shows or when I'm searching online for new stamps to purchase. So the ATA is a, a great organization to help you get started with a new topical collection or research into a collection that you're trying to expand at the moment. And I'd strongly encourage you to check out their website and see what information is available. Of course, you can go online and uh, there's lots of other sites that you can uh, examine and see if you can track down other stamps for Braille. Sometimes uh, I suggest to people just going into Google and you could type in something like postage stamps depicting Braille and you can come up and search with the images in Google and find all kinds of things and give you some ideas on uh, what's available out there. So I thought these Braille stamps would be fascinating. Uh, a lot of them um, do seem to have the raised uh, Braille alphabet and Braille lettering on them, which makes them, I think, um, even a more interesting part of a collection. So uh, let me know in the comments if you collect the topic for Braille or if uh, seeing these stamps maybe prompted you that you might want to take a look at a topical collection for Braille stamps. Uh, I think it's uh, a great idea uh, helping the, uh, the cause of spreading the word about uh, accessibility and uh, things that can help the, the blind better navigate their world. And uh, lastly for today's video, I just want to make a, a quick shout out here to a, uh, a subscriber on the channel, Chris. Chris recently sent me in a postcard here and I love all the different stamps he put on the postcard. It's, it's That was great. Uh, I really like the, the variety that he's got here. And the uh, back of the postcard has a, a USPS mailbox. It's great. And he was talking about, he was watching the, uh, the video that I did on uh, various reference books 
for philately. And in the comments here, he mentioned that he had picked up the book Fundamentals of Philately and really like it. So uh, thanks very much, Chris. Love it. I'm going to add this card on the top of the list uh, of my uh, mail that's coming in recently. So thanks for doing that. And again, I, I welcome anybody else if they want to send in little cards or comments, uh, please do. Also, remember that if you uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. That really helps things out. And uh, again, enjoy topical collecting. Explore the American Topical Association and join if you are so inclined. I would highly recommend it. And other than that, take care. See you in the next video. And happy collecting.